Hi, this is Pat Johnson, your sociology instructor. In this mini lecture, we're going to talk about the funding of public schools in the United States. Most children in our society go to public schools. They do not have um, to pay tuition. The schools are paid for by tax dollars. Let's see where those tax dollars come from. The funding of public schools primarily comes from three tax sources. Federal dollars, in other words, the United States government, state dollars, and also local or county dollars. Over half the funding comes from county dollars in the form of property taxes. That's important because those areas that have uh, properties, in other words, homes that are worth a whole lot of money, are taxed more and therefore more of those property tax dollars go to the local schools creating higher quality schools because of all the money that is poured into them. In one of the last lectures I told you that I went to three different high schools and they had vastly different qualities in how good they were. Um, the first school I went to was Baldwin Woodville High School, a rural high school in Wisconsin, and it was okay. The second high school I went to was Rolling Meadows High School. This is in a fairly high-income suburb of Chicago. It was a very large school. Most of my high school teachers had master's degrees or doctorates, and the facilities were very, very nice. The last school I went to in the upper right hand corner was Kamii High School in Idaho and it was a, in a more economically depressed area with a much lower quality of school and I hate to say it a lower quality of instruction. I give these examples because they reflect the economic uh, background that these schools were located in geographically. The tax dollars that were going into the very uh, affluent school of Rolling Meadows was much greater than the very, very, very rural school of Kamii in the poor area of our country. Now what does that mean? Locally, there are different public schools within Craven County, within Carteret County. One time I went out to see a friend's student play basketball at Croatan High School and I noticed the vastly better uh, campus of Croatan High School than some of the other high schools in Carteret County. This shows the tax dollars that were flooding into Croatan High School. Croatan High School is by Cape Carteret and all of those uh, wealthy beach houses out on Emerald Isle pay high property taxes that support Croatan High School, making it a school with better resources. So when you think of public schooling, don't think that all public schools are equal just because they're public. Those that are in high property tax areas tend to have a lot more resources than those that are in low property tax areas. The last slide I want to show you in this discussion has to do with spending per student in school districts all across our country. On this chart of the United States, which is looking at the different uh, spending in each county in the United States, dark blue means that they are well above the national average in spending on students and those that are dark orange have much lower spending on, on students. Those that are beige are neutral. So the three high schools I went to, the first one was here, right up here, and it was neutral. It was an okay school. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. The second one I went to was in the, it's hard to see here, but the blue area right here around Chicago in the suburban area, a very high quality school. And then the third high school I went to was in a very low spending school district because it was an economically depressed area. Showing that um, spending varies greatly per school district, uh, resulting in different qualities of schools.